It has finally happened. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, grandmas. Today is Thursday, August 24th, and I feel like I want to be on a bike tour today. So I'm going to wear my Shimog while we pack today's orders. Sold a Pebble smartwatch that I got from a thrift store. Got this in New Mexico. I used it for a little bit, but I decided to post it up and sell it. It has a Kickstarter wideband edition. This is like the original smartwatch. This thing is cool. I know Mr. Noah Party will probably appreciate this one too. Fat leather band. And it works. It probably needs a charge though. It has a super weird proprietary charger. I'm gonna charge it before I give it to him. Plug that baby in. See, it does work. It's getting a charge. Pebble. There, just boot it on. E-ink, Bluetooth. I was in my P4 year of pharmacy school when those came out. So that was 2000, late 2012, early 2013. I want to get rid of it before the battery on it dies because once those batteries are dead, those are like not replaceable. You have to break the glass to get into it to replace the battery, which breaks the watch completely. So it makes no sense. Poor design on that first Pebble watch. So I'm going to get rid of that while it's still worth 29 bucks. We also sold this Panasonic hard drive camera for $80. That was a good buy. I don't remember what I paid for it. Grandfather gave me this Coleman lantern to sell. This is going to be a pain to ship. It has a Pyrex glass container. I'm probably going to pull that out and pack that separately. Model 220F, made in the USA, gas lantern. So yeah, thank you, Grandpa. I know he found these at the dump, gave them to me to sell. Finally, one of them has sold for 39 bucks shipped. So basically I remove the glass. I'm going to wrap this in some sort of DIY padding bubble wrap foam to separate this from break this from the actual lantern. I pray to God that this does not break in the mail. It's Pyrex. I can hear the ocean. We're gonna get this out. This will be the most difficult one to ship today. So glass Pyrex protected actual lantern. We're gonna wrap that with bubble wrap. It's in a box in a box. I'm gonna mail it to myself and smash it with a hammer. I'll turn him into a flea. A harmless little flea. And then I'll put that flea in a box. And then I'll put that box inside of another box. And then I'll mail that box to myself. And when it arrives, ah, I'll smash it with a hammer. And there we have it. A lot of recycled shipping materials. I have this bag of like foam pieces. And this metal part isn't really as breakable. It's wrapped in bubble wrap. Everything is locked down. It's not going to be able to shift around. There's more than one way to peel a potato, so feel free to argue amongst yourselves on how incorrectly I have shipped this. Just got a return on these Bose Quiet Comfort headphones. Homeboy who bought them. First of all, he did not know that this is a plug and it has a high-low switch on it. I don't think it was plugged in all the way. I pulled it out to wrap it around to ship it. So that was the issue number one. And then issue number two, I did not have a good battery in it when I shipped it, it was almost dead. That was probably a little bit of my fault. Put a battery in there. He couldn't figure out how to close the battery door. You just press on it and it clicks like that and it's in. That's the little battery window tab there. You turn it on, we got a fresh battery and he ordered a new pair already off of eBay. So he, meant, he uh, said, yeah, they work, but I'm just gonna mail them to you back, mail them back to you. So these are gonna get relisted. And while I was packing up the other order, the fruits of my labor are already coming in. Sold Pokemon Ruby for 20 bucks shipped with a brand new battery. I'm trying to get out the door and go to the gym, but stuff keeps selling. I just sold this power adapter. Not much. Uh, I think it was only $10.99. Not going to make much, but I'm going to get rid of it. That's going in a flat rate padded because it's so heavy. But I wanted to show everybody this. I'm watching the Rally Roots Thrift Hall video vlog. They get this humongous shirt from the Salvation Army, which I bought the DVD player from that I sold recently. Both of their heads get in it, both of their bodies get in it. Alright. Can you pull it down? And check it out. Should we just do the rest of the video like this? Yep. It's not even intentional, but these guys are so in love that their heads create this heart shape with the shirt and the red and everything. I thought that was awesome. Um, I think we paid like three dollars and fifty. Those guys are so much in love that their head has created a perfect heart shape unintentionally. I love it, absolutely love it. I forgot to show an aftermath of the wasp massacre from a couple of days ago. My mom had shot some wasp spray into the house that's right there in her wasp housing tree. 
The only function of this tree is to hold wasps. There's another mud wasp nest right there. Here's the aftermath. There's corpses all over the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I see at least eight, nine, nine of these wasps. My mom got them good. Two of them got into the house. It was crazy. Oh crap, one just tried to get in right there. When I just closed the door, one just flew at me and hit the door. They're out there, they do not like us. I just got my glass protector in the mail. This is for my Nexus 5X. I'm telling you guys, it is important. I have one on it right now, but in case this glass protector breaks, I have another one that I can put on. A spare. On our way to the shipping post, which is like my FedEx place. It's one of those private drop-off UPS, FedEx, USPS places. I got most of my packages in the trunk, and I got the one FedEx strapped to me as a passenger. So we're gonna drop those off. Then we're gonna go to Goodwill and then we're gonna go to the gym. We did not go to the gym yesterday. So Thursday is now my Wednesday leg day. Packages are dropped off. Time to pop into Goodwill, see if we can find anything and then go to the gym. Or maybe we should go to the gym first and then reward ourselves for going to the gym and then pop into Goodwill. We're gonna go with dessert first. We got a vintage Chelsea auto glass soccer jersey by Umbro. This is half off. We're gonna get this. It's only $4.99. I've never seen this. And I've been coming to this Goodwill every couple days this week. I'll get that. I have never found one of these in the wild of America. I think I'm gonna drink my coffee out of this now. It has finally happened. I am so stoked right now. This is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I've been looking for one of these for over five years and finally I found one in the wild from my state, 49 cents. This is epic. And I did find a four pack of propane. This works with my propane torch that I have at home. And this is five bucks. I'm almost out of propane from when we welded my mom's water pipe. So I'm gonna grab this as well. I'm also gonna pop on this California made heat shield advanced windshield reflector. It's only three bucks. It has a model number right here, 1397. It goes to a Ford truck. So I should have no problem selling this for 20 or 30 bucks and I think it will ship first class. If it weighs more than 16 ounces, I will cut this up and I think use it for van life. So you might be asking yourself, that mug's only worth like 20 something dollars. Why are you making such a big deal about it? It's more than just that. I've been looking for one for over five years. To find one that's representative of my state, where I was born, my heritage, that's awesome. It's literally like a piece of me. I'm gonna bring it with me overseas and I'm gonna drink my coffee out of it just to remind me of home and the great state of Florida. Actually, I'm pretty glad that I went before the gym because that pumped me up. Glad I brought the Shimag today because this is going nowhere. Thanks, Leo. about three o'clock, just got done with an amazing lower body, thrift inspired, thrift motivated, thrift energized, lower body, bod dang workout. Uh, got a public sub, gonna run home real quick to try to outrun this storm that is brewing behind me. It's literally starting to come down while I'm saying, I gotta get out of here before it comes down. 15 more seconds and I would've got dumped on. I'm getting like micro dumped on right now. And we hit the school zone. We barely made it home. And this thing was like flapping around like crazy. That was an awful design. I was back here driving one-handed with this hand just like holding it on the back like an idiot. Literally just got home and it is coming dumps. I just missed this. Oh my gosh, that would have been so awful. Rain life and scooter life is not happy life. I haven't sent an FBA shipment in a long time. I'm going to convert some of these merchant fulfilled items to FBA get them out of my bin and on their way to the warehouse. But if you guys haven't already, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or encouraging comments, I would love to hear them. The countdown to the van project is coming down to days. Tomorrow we're gonna do a student loan payment, so make sure to tune into that if you're all about student loan payments. Dave Ramsey, Gazelle Intensity. I'm gonna get to work. Thanks everybody for watching and I will talk to you in the morning. Bye.